everyone welcome back to the parish notice board it is sunday may the 7th now for guess where i am this week this one's going to be really good if you know this place then more power to you <laughs> if you don't i thoroughly recommend you come and find it here we go this is where i am this is a chalk pit believe it or not and that's a chalk face over there it's part of a, a wider sort of nature area if you like which is to the south of a village do you know where this is if you do put your answer in the comments below I think one of the best things about this area is it's got plenty of picnic tables, which means I don't have to worry about my GoPro falling over. I can just stand it on one of them and talk into it and it's not going to go anywhere unless there's a, a massive gust of wind. But considering this place is surrounded by trees, I think I'm safe. Okay, so that brings us to last week's answer. I remember last week I was stood on a bridge over a river. That river was the River Ouse, and a lot of people got this, but they didn't quite get it right because I was actually on a specific side of the bridge. I know it's being pedantic, but I was on the Bishopthorpe side of the River Ouse in York. Obviously, the other side is Neyburn, which is a lot of people said Neyburn, but I was there for a reason, and it was to do with the sculpture that's on the bridge, which is actually on the Bishopthorpe side. So, well done if you said that, but uh, I probably am being a little bit picky. You, you had the right bridge, just not the right side of the river, so I'll probably give you that if you said Neyburn, to be honest with you. It's, it's near enough as damn it. So, this one's a little bit harder. You kind of need to know where this is, to be honest with you. Um, you could probably research it, but um, yeah, that one was a, a lot easier than this one's going to be. Okay, so the first thing to talk about this week is to do actually with Nikki and not really with me. If you weren't in the parish meeting that was last Monday, you you won't know about this. So in that meeting, I held up a piece of cross stitching. Nikki is a really good cross stitcher, and we've had this map of Yorkshire for a long time, which Nikki has been working on over the past couple of, I want to say weeks, months. I don't know how long it's actually taken her, but. It's, it was finished by the time the parish meeting went out on Monday. And so I held this map up and showed people you know, this gorgeous piece of stitching. And it kind of, one thing kind of led to another. And we kind of sort of decided between us and the people in the chat that Nikki could potentially make some little county flags, cross stitched county flags. Not very big, sort of about that kind of size. Um, so they're fairly easy to do i mean we don't have patterns for them but we can make them we can make patterns for them because we have the software to do that um so if you want uh, a little i don't know they, they call them swatches i think in fact they are called swatches i should know that because nikki will nikki will crucify me for not knowing that word they're called swatches so little tiny cross stitch about this big right of your own county flag if you'd like one let us know because we would happily stitch them for you something like that would take nikki less than a day to do that's how good a stitcher nikki is um so yeah let us know if you want your little county flag stitch hand stitched by my good lady wife i am getting attacked by flies here it's not quite canby island level getting attacked. I'm sure you remember the Canby Island episode. If you don't, go and find it, because in that episode, I was being absolutely swarmed by these flies, which was not a, not a nice thing. It's kind of the same thing again here. I'm, I'm going to move from here in a minute, I think, because there's plenty of them around. Anyway, anyway, uh, the next thing I need to talk about is to do with Bedfordshire and Hertfordshire. Now, obviously, I mentioned last week that people out there have really enjoyed my episodes so far of Bedfordshire and Hertfordshire. I can't believe the reaction I've got to them, quite frankly. It's been absolutely amazing. Um, unrivaled anywhere else. I've never, known, I've never known support like it. No one said anything bad about them, which is really good. And I'm quite proud of, the, of that fact. So as such, I am going to have to go back to Bedfordshire and Hertfordshire at some point later this year. I mentioned this last week which means the next trip that I plan 
will be back down there because I mean I can't leave I, I, with a reaction like that I can't leave it for a long time um, otherwise people may lose interest so if you are watching from either of those two counties and you've seen my first four episodes out there um, two things one thank you for tuning into the parish notice board and listening to me talk about you guys basically and also thank you for all the support that you've given me um, on the back of just those four episodes it's absolutely fantastic so yeah you heard it here first the next trip i do these flies are dive bombing me now the next trip i do i'm going to be going back down to bedfordshire and hertfordshire and i'll probably do quite a lot down there um so you know i'll probably do a couple of days worth and, and end up with about 11 12 maybe we'll see Okay, so I've decided to move away from the flies, but to be fair, I've actually kind of done with this episode now. I don't think there's much more to talk about. The only other thing I wanted to mention, uh, again, if you if you haven't already um, seen one of my videos where I've mentioned this, uh, the Northeast Lincolnshire meetup is on June the 7th on Cleethorpe Seafront. I'll be outside the sort of pier and the amusements there after I've done the last episodes of that series. And we still have no date for Newark, but I will do soon. Chances are it's going to be on a Saturday. So yeah, um, apart from that, I'm just going to make my way out of this chalk pit on this path. So you get another good look at it. Let's go this way, down through the trees, back to the car park. It's not a, a far walk to the car park, thankfully. My legs, quite frankly, are burning at the moment with the amount of walking I've done over the last couple of days. But you know what? I enjoy it. I enjoy it so much. I mean, no pain, no gain, as I'm sure you understand. Um, but I am ready to um, head home now and uh, hopefully rest these legs for the next couple of days and uh, get them ready for the next trip away. Now, the next bit of filming I'll be doing, um, obviously, is next week. I'll be heading back up to York again. I'll be doing three in York. I'll be doing Earswick, Rawcliffe, and Clifton Without. And then I'll be heading up into the district of Hambleton for the very first time to uh, whew, make seven episodes in one day. Uh, those episodes will be Newton on Ooze, uh, Benningborough, uh, Overton and Shipton, which you may know as Shipton by Benningborough actually, it goes by two names, officially it's just Shipton. So yeah, that's my plan for next week and that will all be next Wednesday. But for now, that has been the Parish Notice Board on May the 7th and I do hope you have enjoyed it and I'll see you next week. I've been Andy, also known as the Village Idiot and I'm out.